Welcome back. The next witness is one you won't want to miss. The defendant's brother, Mitchell Halderson, just called to the stand. Let's listen live. Yes, within the last four. I forget exactly okay. when. And does that appear to be a true and accurate copy of that picture? Yes. Okay, I would move Exhibit 27 Any into evidence. Any objection? No objection. It may be published. It is received. So how old was your dad, if you know, in July of this year? Uh, he was born in 71, so in July he just turned 50. And your mom, she was a few years older? Correct, about three. What did your dad do for a living? He was an accountant. Do you remember the name of the firm that he worked with last? Uh, yeah, uh, BDO USA. Um, and he did taxes and things like that, or? Uh, yes, specifically with small businesses was his specialty. Um, so is he kind of a money-savvy sort of person? I would say so. Definitely had finances, understood them well. Did he believe in banks? Yeah. Um, how old was your mom? My mom was 53. Okay. What'd your mom do for a living? Was a stay-at-home mom for us growing up and has recently gone back to work as a receptionist at a car company. Um, describe what was your dad like as a parent, just very briefly. Well, he worked a lot, so slightly absent during the time, but I would say had good expectations for us and overall was a good parent. How would you describe your mom as a parent, just briefly? A bit of the typical helicopter parent. Very involved in our everyday lives, but again, for the because she cared. Okay. Um, so she stayed in communication with you often. Is that a fair statement? Yes. What is the age difference between you and your brother Chandler? Eighteen months. And are you the older or younger sibling? I am the older. And just for the record, um, I think the judge is going to ask everyone but the jury to remove their mask for a few seconds. Do you see your brother Chandler Halderson in the courtroom today? If everyone could lower their masks briefly and uh, after one, two, three, replace your mask. Thank you. I do. Could you please describe by where he's seated and what sort of maybe the color of his shirt? Table to the right uh, with a purple shirt and, and a suit. I would ask the record to reflect that the witness has identified the defendant. It shall. So, Mitchell, if you're 18 months older, are you 24 or 25? Right I just now? turned 25. Okay. Um, and in July of 2021, where were you working and what did you do? I work at Epic Systems, and I am a technical services representative. A computer guy? Sure, yes. <laughs> okay. And are you married, single, something else? Uh, engaged. Engaged. Okay. And how long have you been engaged? A little over a year. Okay. Um, and you live in the Dane County area? Yes. Um, in a house, a condo, something else? In a house. Okay. Um, and just briefly, in June of this last year, 2021, you had a significant health episode. Is that a fair statement? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. What occurred? I went to the doctor for a regular scheduled appointment since I hadn't gone during COVID and wanted to get blood work done, and I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And in fact, you were hospitalized for a period of time. Yes, that is true. Was your mom or dad, did they seem concerned to you at all? Yes. You kind of laughed there. Why'd you laugh? My mom was overly concerned. <laughs> How did she express that? Not as much to me, trying to not show me that, but I have heard later on that she called her best friend many times crying. Okay. Growing up and moving into recently, what sorts of things did you and your brother Chandler do? Since we didn't live in the same house, we would do things online, like play video games and just talk that way. Okay. What sort of video games did you play? Wide array, but... Generally, uh, first-person shooter games. Okay. Um, and did your brother have a favorite weapon or gun in these games? Usually those of Russian descent. Okay. Uh, like the SKS? That's correct. 
And in fact, during your um, illness, your brother gave you a gift. Is that fair to say? Yes. What did he give you? A unknown type of bullet with the words get well soon on it. I'm going to show you Exhibit 26. How would you describe Exhibit 26? That is the same one. That's the bullet that your brother gave you and wrote to get well on? Yes. Move Exhibit 26 into evidence. Any objection? No. It is received. It may be published. I don't think the overhead is going to do justice, but it just says get well. I want to turn your attention uh, to when your parents went missing this year. How did you learn that your parents were potentially missing? I don't remember the exact date, but I did receive a call from my mom's best friend that had let me know that they had gone up, that they, she had heard that they had gone up to the cabin. Okay. So I did not suspect them missing at that time. I just had heard that. Okay. Um, and what is the, your mom's best friend's name? That would be Jane Hilgendorf. Okay. So you get a call, and in fact, you call her Aunt Jane. I do. Okay. So you get a call from your Aunt Jane. Um, what do you do, if anything, in response to that call? I don't recall the exact events, but I did not think much of it because they would be known to go up to the cabin. And let's, let's talk about that. Um, so your parents own a cabin. Correct. Where is that cabin? Langlade County, Wisconsin. Okay. Um, and how would you describe that cabin? My grandpa had built it, so it was mostly wood logs, uh, pretty run-of-the-mill, what you would think of as a rustic cabin. Okay. Uh, is it on waterfront, in the forest, something else? Yes, it is on Sawyer Lake, Wisconsin. Okay. Uh, is there any other outbuildings associated with this cabin, such as a shed or a boathouse or anything like that? Both of those. There is a shed out in the front, a boathouse in the back, and a in shambles treehouse in the front yard as well. Okay. And uh, did your parents own a boat of any sort? I believe so. There was definitely a canoe. I don't believe there was a full boat, or at least not that I remember. And nothing like a pontoon or a ski boat or something. Have to step nothing. aside for a quick break. This is the brother's te testimony, Mitchell Halderson, on the stand. Uh, what light can he shed on what is alleged to have occurred? We'll be right back live with more. Welcome back. Let's go back in live and hear more testimony from Mitchell Halderson, the brother of the defendant, in this case, Chandler Halderson. Let's listen. I remember. And nothing like a pontoon or a ski boat or something? Nothing with a motor that I'm remembering. Okay. How often do you believe your parents went to the cabin? They would at least open and close it every year and go probably one or two more times in addition to that, so three or four times a year over the summer. And what were your parents' habits um, about keeping in touch or not keeping in touch with you um, in connection when they went to the cabin? My mom would reach out any chance she could, so she would, she would have told me. Did your parents tell you in the last week of June or the very beginning of July any idea that they may be going to the cabin? So you first hear from your Aunt Jane. What is the next thing that happens that you remember in concerning your parents being missing? The next thing that I remember is Chandler texting me that he is worried that, about them. Okay. Um, what, if anything, did you do in response? Asked more about why and just to hear what they had told him about leaving because I didn't hear anything about it. And what did you learn from Chandler? that they had gone up north with friends, that he didn't know who those friends were and didn't know the car that they had taken. Okay. Um, what was your understanding of friends that may go to the cabin with your parents? The list, there is a list of people that I would have assumed. Uh, do you want me to go through that list? Sure. Um, that would be my Aunt, Aunt Jane, Uncle Mike, uh, also Dan and Mary Sesto, who were on, lived on the same street, as well as Galen Rick Canapaki, who you might also 
you're from. And I had reached out to each one of those mem- each one of those families and had heard back that none of them were the ones that had gone up north. Did you have any understanding about who would drive when your parents went to the cabin? Unless it was one of those three, I would assume that they would drive because they're the ones that know the way. And there are certain folks, notably Dan Sesto, that goes up there often enough that I would understand driving, but nobody else. Okay. Um, What happens next as far as your concern with your parents? What's the next piece of news you you learn? Eventually, a detective comes to my house, uh, Rich Bennett in order to just ask some more questions of me during the, dis, uh, the investigation. I believe that was the next thing that had occurred. Okay. Um, what happened after that? Uh, I believe it was Wednesday. It was whatever day Chandler was originally arrested. I had actually gone up to the cabin myself in order to check it out just to see what was going on. And why did you go to the cabin? Wanted to do something myself about it. I felt like I needed to do something. So at this point on Wednesday or whatever day you ended up going to the cabin, were you fairly concerned? Yes. Okay. And what led you to be being so concerned? Not having heard from them, not being able to get a hold of them, and not being told that they had gone up there to begin with. So during this time period that you learned they're missing, did you reach out to your mom or dad via text or phone calls? Yes. Did you hear anything back? No. And did that concern you? Yes. At any point during this, the time that you learned your parents were missing, did anybody tell you that perhaps they were out gambling? I don't believe during that period of between July 1st and July 7th I had heard anything about gambling. Okay. Let me just ask, were your parents gamblers? No. Um, have you ever been to a casino with them? No. To your knowledge, have they ever taken a vacation and with the with entertainment that is gambling? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Were your parents big drinkers? They've gotten more into drinking, I'd say, since they moved back down to Windsor. They're, yes, but not huge drinkers, no. Uh, Did you ever know your parents to drink tequila? My mom would drink margaritas, but not from mixing it herself. It was the Costco brand pre-made stuff. Okay. Um, did you know either of your parents to drink gin? I, no, I do not. Did your parents take their work or their jobs seriously, not seriously, or something else? Very seriously. To your knowledge, have they ever no-called or, and no-showed for work in the past? That would be very strange for them to do. I want to sh- uh, so you go up north um, and you meet the, a deputy up there. Correct. Um, what do you do once you're up there? Before the deputies arrived, I took a lap around the cabin myself just because I didn't want to wait outside any longer. Eventually, Langley County, I guess the deputies, I believe they were sheriffs and deputies, met us there. And eventually, I took another walk around the property with them, just pointing out things that I noticed. And also, they busted into the doors because they were all locked and the keys that I had were not working. Um, And at any point, obviously, you did not find your parents up there. No. Did you find any signs at all that they had been there? Nothing looked like it had been used. There was a couple pieces of trash around, but I believe that's just because sometimes people will walk through the property on the way either between properties or just in the way. Either way, I do not believe it had been used anytime recently. Mitchell, I want to ask you a few things um, about your brother and what you knew in July of June and July of 2021. Where, if anywhere, did you believe your brother worked in June of 2021? I believed at American Family. What did you think he did there? Answering questions on a message board, things you can do from remotely. Your understanding was working from home like most people? Yes. Did you have any understanding about his payment schedule or anything like that in connection with American Family? No, I wasn't really told much about that. Did you, uh, when he was arrested in July of 2021, were you under the impression he was still working at American Family? I was. 
What, if anything, did you believe about your brother Chandler's schooling? I believed he had not currently graduated yet, but was attending online classes at MATC. Uh, and what did you believe he was studying? Renewable resource engineering was the general consensus I had. Did you have any um, knowledge about when he was scheduled to graduate or? No. Okay. And in June of 2021, your brother suffers a fall. Mm -hmm. Yes. What, if anything, did you know about that fall? I was told that while my dad was home working, he had heard a thud and that he went upstairs to find my brother on the on the ground next to the staircase or on the staircase. And did you see your brother in June of 2021? In June, I did, yes. Okay. Um, what, if any, sort of lingering medical effects did he have, to your knowledge? I wasn't aware of a lot. I believe there was general numbness, I was told, kind of uh, during that, and overall tiredness yeah. as well. Did you know anything uh, about any potential long-term damage? I don't believe that I was told enough yet. It seemed like it was still under evaluation. And did you know anything about appointments in the future? I actually did. I was told by Chandler during that, between the time frame, I don't remember the exact date, between July 1st and July 7th that he had an appointment and he was being, he was asking if I could help give him a ride in case he needed one. Okay. Did you guys ever firm up any plans to take him to his appointment? We had offered a ride if needed, but he never ended up needing it. Okay. And do you know roughly what date you um, were diagnosed with diabetes? Uh, if the weekend was June 13th to 15th, it was in that, it was in the middle of the month, whatever weekend around there. And did Chandler's fall occur before or after or during your hospitalization? After. Okay. Um, within days? I don't remember. Could okay. have been a week. Okay. Other than um, Chandler seeming tired, did you personally observe any differences uh, to Chandler's physical appearance? Just the neck brace, but no, nothing else. Did you observe any difficulty he had walking? We so. have to step aside for a break as we are nearing the top of the hour. My time is done here. Ashley Wilcott will be here next, and we're going to hear more testimony from the brother of the accused. Mitchell Halderson is on the stand. I'm Julie Grant. It's been great being with you.